Assalamualaikum and very good day. My name is Mohamed Mujibillah and in this video presentation, I am going to demonstrate a very simple game called Paper Scissors. But this is the lab two where I am uh, going to do the multiplayer games using my three phase games. The first thing where I am going to have, uh, where I am going to create a main menu. So in the main menu, since first I need to create, I have to create a Canva size of Canva. So make sure that can this color with the skin size and the value for the exercise resolution is 1920 and the y is 1480 and then make it as 1 after that we're going to create we're going to set up an image for the can name it, can name it as a background image so after creating the background image for the canvas main so we, we need to create uh, two button two button for the single player and multi player Okay. It is um duplicate the buttons and rename it as multiplayer. You have done creating single player multiplayer buttons, you just need to allocate the pictures related to single player. Then we're going to create an empty object, name it as game manager. The my scene manager, my scene script, as well as the current server. The current server in the load you can just in it as Nobi. In the game manager, we need to have basically two scripts. I think we're going to create a second scene. So in the lobby, so basically the first thing we need to implement the bottom ID. The first thing we need to follow, create a new app. From the photon of course then we select an appropriate uh, create NTK where we select a boom and name it as RPS game. You can choose any names you like. After that just create since I already have created so after creating the photon ID just copy the app ID from the from there and we need to go to the Unity and input inside this app ID to the server so here we can see the app ID so basically on right we need to set up this bottom app ID to create and canvas for the lobby secondly you need to create an input field create the name of the player and I'm going to have the create name input field and I duplicate it to create create a room for the player so in the canva I will have one more buttons so it will it will generate to in the game it will allocate the image for the interval and all those components are going to put under the ROM setting folder. We to have one more empty object or I rename it as working ROM. And in the working ROM, I need to have two taste at the bottom. I mean to taste and name it as player one. Rename as player two. And the inter button, so we're going to duplicate it and drag it into the waiting room so after set up the waiting room I need to have a game manager where I am going to add us to script the lobby scenes as well as the portal view to add us this, those uh, script I need to fill up all the secret fields from the, from the dashboard first thing I need to have a create from So once in the room setting, pointing room, and this button is basically the inter game button. Since the max number of player we have two, I'm going to mention as it is duplicate the game, game synth, 
untuk menjadi kereta gensin uh, dinamit as game okay, multiplayer next step we're going to the lobby when you can advance the game manager on the on click so make sure we have the runtime only and the non value with the game manager and the function lobby manager to join row for the inter game button we're going to create lower scenes for the on click functions the single player buttons we're going to have My scene managers, I'm going to change scenes and empty object. We're going to name it as game multiplayer. Connect the server with the multiplayer. So, next step, next step in the multiplayer game scenes, we're going to change a little bit with the pillar names since we're going to have a second pillar for the games. So we're going to Change the computer pillar two, pillar two, and we're going to add us in the game manager some more components. Script player, script as well as the bottom view. So from this one player, the first thing I need to add two pairs. For the first step, I'm going to change the value of it. I'm going to drag the value of it to the element. First element consists of level 1 and second element consists of level 2. So that's pretty much it about the spoon player script. Secondly, the bottom view it will remain the same. Yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. So after creating all those functions, make sure to check all of the button is functioning. Make sure that all of the button is work accordingly. And after that, I'm going to check what we implement either is workable. So that's pretty much it about the about the setting. So if I go to the play mode, that's it. And as you can see, you can create a input name, player name, or pillar, and it will automatically generate for the first player and second player. I think that's it from me. That's how you can do a multiplayer game.